they remain one of the one of hip hop's most notable rappers known for doing galaxy gas. No. <laughs> nah, <I> just... <laughs> Yo, what is good, fam? Welcome to episode 103. Speaking of which, podcast got my man John in the building. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? My man, it's Aaron speaking over here. Yo, see the shirt real quick, though. Ooh. Come on, man. Come on, yeah. Come on, man. Come on, man. What's that? What'd that say right there? What's oh. happening? 101. <laughs> <laughs> What's happening? But yeah, man. Now, yeah. Um, episode 103, man. Check out last episode if you can. Uh, we got a little bit to talk about, man. I'm uh, sorry, I'm sorry about that. <laughs> Cardi dropped some. I would think it's some heat. I think it's some heat. It's um, interesting. It's we a also good went to his little birthday situation, which. Was that last week? It was week? just a waste that of time. That was last week, Saturday? That was like a... No, that was last two week. Weeks, two weeks ago, maybe? Nah, I think that was last week, bro. Last week, yeah. I think so, yeah. yeah. Vegan... Yeah. yeah. Waste of time. Waste but, of time. Uh, waste of time. Lil Tecca. Lil Tecca. Lil Tecca, man. Good guy. Dropped an album. Got, yep. Plan A. You feel me? I don't, I'm not a big fan of... The, I should have brought the CD. It's whatever. Uh, Plan A. I don't really like the... Cover art and the aesthetic. Oh uh, yeah, they're going mad cheetah print with it. Yeah, man, yeah. auntie. My brother-in-law was. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we could talk about. We gonna talk about future. Future. Shit, my man yes. Diddy on suicide watch. It's a lot going on, uh, man. Twenty in their twenties, top twenty artists in their twenties. In 20s. their 20s. Shout out complex. Shout out complex, man. And of Shit, course, man. you know, hot takes and all that. Hot takes. Shout out to uh, Shohei Otani though, real quick. Cause Word. He going Aaron crazy. Judge too. Going crazy. Aaron Judge was like, "Hey yo, chill out with the home runs. <laughs> I'ma hit." You know what I'm saying? He had a home run yesterday. So he might had... get the triple crown, boy. I'm just saying, he might get MVP yeah. and triple crown. I and hope so. Cy Young. Uh, I don't know. How's he doing pitching-wise? Who? Otani? So, he hasn't pitched all year. Really? He's just been it's DHing. He's just DH the whole year. But they're saying even though he's DHing, it still might be the single greatest season of all time. Because no play, any player that hit 50 home runs didn't even scratch 25 stolen bases. He has 51 with 52 stolen bases. So he already obliterated that. Damn. Yo, he's, all, he's another. I've never seen a game like that ever in my life, bro. Five extra base hits. That's the first time that happens since, like, 1910. <laughs> and six for six, that doesn't even make sense. The fact that he even got up six times is crazy. They won, yeah. like, 18 or two. I wonder <laughs> why he was such a horrible better, though. <laughs> oh, hot word. He should just bet on himself. Like. That's another reason why I think this season is so great real quick, bro, because coming off of a of, – this is the biggest contract in history, like 300 mil, whatever the hell it is. You're not pitching. He's coming off a of rehab. And then you pull up a season with this, bro? Nah, this is this is stupid. Mad pressure. First Dodger. Most home runs for a Dodger ever. And this is his first season there. That doesn't wow. even make sense, bro. You know Gary Sheffield was in that list, boy? In like 01. I forgot he even played for the Dodgers. But anyways. Oh, yeah, we, we deep in baseball talk. But anyways. We're going to talk about my son, Cardi. I played the song for my sister, actually, the other day. Really? She Did stayed it scare over. Her? So my sister pulled up, right? She a Christian, you know, for like 25 years. And I was like, yo, Selena, I got a very cool song to show you. It's very <laughs> nice. It's, it's cr very Christian like. She's like, oh, okay. I was like, it's by Playboy Cardi. She goes, oh, no, 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 no. I don't want to hear that. I was like, no, 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 real quick. It's hard. It's hard. Yo. Once I played like the first couple bars, I was like, nah. She said, oh my God, turn that off. Turn it off. I was like, what you mean? This ain't whore? Yo, you're horrible. <laughs> Nah, yo, I ain't gonna lie, bro. That song, I can't really play it too much because it's like, it's too yeah. much for me a little bit. Like, say what you want, religion and all that, but that yeah, upside down cross shit in the chorus is yeah, like. Yeah, it's hard to bump in the whip like with know. a bunch of people that it's just. Weird. Yeah, it's weird. It's, it's a little, I don't know the word for it. Distasteful. A little bit, right? Yeah, it's like, eh. But his flow is cool. I mean, the beat is cool. cool. Let's, let's call a spade a spade, though. The I heard Cardi didn't like even want it. Is kind of whore. I ain't Especially saying it's not when, whore. You know, when his verse, like, if he would have performed that him. shit live, bro, bro. Also, I mean, I heard, apparently he didn't even want to release it. I saw some shit on Reddit that he felt like he sounded too much like Future. But the fans were fiending for that shit. So I think the label is really pushing that. I mean, clearly, it actually released officially. And he teased the shit out of us, yo. Fuck that shit, Well, he bro. played it at Summer Smash. He did. But I'm saying he, that post that he put with all those Kanye-looking albums, it was like album 
Lincoln bio, some shit. Right. Like that. Yeah. And then that shit said ships April twenty twenty five. I'm like, bro, come on, bro. How long do we gotta wait, bro? According to Swamp Izzo, it's not twenty twenty five. It's twenty twenty four. Oh yeah, I did so. see that. I did see that. I don't yeah. believe it though. They asked Ken, some fan, yo, is Antagonist Tour still happening? He was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Cardi was there at the party, at the, at the list, whatever you want to call it, the birthday party, the birthday show. How you feel about that, that if they, they said, uh, we'll arrest you if you get out the car? Is that fair, That's, though? I think, I think. Because he's uh, enticing it, is that what it is? But if he's not really enticing it, in a sense. I wouldn't, I wouldn't get out the car. Like, I wouldn't play with that, so. No, I'm, I'm not, not saying to... that they're lying. I'm just saying, like, do you think that's justified to arrest Cardi when technically he's not really doing anything? I don't know how that works. Putting on a free event, no matter... Yo, that's a rant that we got to talk about, bro. No matter what the circumstance is, like, putting on a free event at that height of your career, bro, it's it's tough. Bro. Like, imagine Kai Sinat doing that. Like... What I think needs to stop... Kids what there. I think that needs to stop happening... The free shows, I guess, is cool, but, like, that can only happen with an artist that isn't as big as that. Like, and if it is free, you gotta... I think they had, like, 10,000 RSVP links, but the the venue only holds 3,000 people, bro. I don't think so, man. You think, think it was only 3K total? Doubt. I think they gave exactly the amount, 3K, uh -huh. and But why is it first come, out. first serve, then? That's the stupid shit. Why is there even an RSVP if it's first come, first serve? Mm. It doesn't reserve anything. That RSVP link mean. does nothing. That's why these kids are so reckless. That's well, why they rush the That's a fight. rare occurrence, though. They, they didn't do that with other events. Like, they only really did that with this event, the first come, first serve shit. Mm. You sure? I'm, I'm, I, I'm mm, pretty sure. I don't know about how that Ken shit worked. Was that first come, first serve? I don't think so. Either way, I think that when was When I saw that, really I was smart. surprised. I was like, oh, damn. Because think about how, first of all, it's Cardi. It's, it's mad game. late, right? It says 10, so nobody truly knows what it is. It doesn't even say it's a concert. He, for all we know, he could have just came out and did the same shit at Ken's show and just lip-synced everything. We don't even know if was. he's really The performing. stage was mad small. Right. The stage was like the size of our set. But think about <laughs> it. Let's say there was 3,000 people there and we all had RSVPs. Why is there any type of commotion? We're all getting in. That's why that shit was just straight chaos. Like, relax. Because we're all getting in. There's so many people that are trying to finesse, and there's so many people that did finesse. And then you had to be 21. That's another thing. You know, all the, a lot of these kids aren't 21 yet. I ain't going to hold you. A lot of people <laughs> cut that line, man. Everybody did. But if and it wasn't first come, first serve, we wouldn't have to be fighting over a fucking spot in the line. No, <laughs> like, true. bruh. And it, yeah, man, they had to at least charge ten dollars. I'll pay for it. Shit, a hundred. No, nah, it's just a matter. It could be free. It's just don't give out more tickets. Yo, there was a security guard. Like he saw capacity. a fake ID and he was like, "Hey, yo, if you got a fakey, I know you got a fakey. You not getting through me, bro. It's not <laughs> happening. Like, come on, look at my son right here. You come on, bro. You know you're not twenty one, bro. Get out of here. Like he was not playing." And I, when he came up to me, he was like, I know you over 21, boy. I was like, yo, chill, what, bro? What you like, because of the gray hairs? Damn, bro, that's fucked up, bro. <laughs> I felt like yeah. the oldest one there. But nah, apparently Uzi was supposed to show up. I know Nav was going to show up. Catch Cobain. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So he did a video that night. Like, I guess they were just recording him type shit. You know, it's interesting. What makes me think about Catch Cobain made me think about the top. 20 artists mm -hmm. under 20 and Lil Tucker wasn't in that joint he was not he was not shut the hell up you serious I'm pretty sure he was not in that joint bro we gonna get into that 20? in a second but bro my son had Meek Mill in the video by the way Meek Mill I think was supposed to show up too Meek Mill <laughs> <laughs> Joel Santana which was fucking random as shit oh you're talking about Cardi's yeah I'm red. just saying that real quick uh Gio was next to him in the video. Nav. <laughs> Lordis was like, ah, why? What the fuck? I was like, I mean, they're cool, I guess. Or, Man, they've been cool. They have a whole, they have a few songs together. Oh, yeah. That Nav shit had a DJ show Mustard in shit. New York, his first show in New York, and Cardi came out. Word. Yeah, man. Shout out to the brown boy. So, speaking of 20 
year old people in the top 20 in a rap game. We're going to mention them right now. Number 20, Cash Cobain, the Snorlax of the rap game. Well, with this whole list, let's take into context. I'm thinking hype, notoriety, you know, uh, cool factor. Culture I'm not, I'm not taking it to impact. Effect. It's yeah, huge. I'm not taking into effect like rapping skills. Yeah, when nah, they say nah. rapper, they, I get what you're saying. Nah, that's really a general statement, right? So Cash Cobain, he deserves that for sure. Jack Harlow, mm. how you feel about that? It's I haven't a, really heard a, a hot a hit song from him in a in a while, but that's just me. I ain't I tapped mean, he in. Dropped twin. A, he dropped a tape that did not do anything. No buzz, no nothing. No nothing. I mean, it says why they're on the list. It says he released one of the most memorable and successful rap singles of the last 12 months. What song was that? Is First that the... Wasn't that, wasn't that like two years ago? I think so. Yeah, like 2022, right? Fuck me. Let us know if we tweaking. Uh, oh, Casilla says why they're not higher. He's been oddly inactive, inactive this year, which hurts his placement. Yeah. 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 Exactly. 18, Bossman D'Lo. I know Cardi be co-signing this dude. A lot of people really fuck with him. That's but the it guy that really be rap- rapping like, when I hit the stove, I'm going to grab a bag of chips. <laughs> Get to Arizona and I'm going to take me some sips. I don't know. Fuck your bitch. He, he be rapping I like think that. that right? I mean, it's on some street shit. It even says it too. He's the breakout street rapper of the year. I'm not Let's really too long fond on street rap We've like that. We've had the money bag, yo. It comes and goes the ESTG, Nardo Wicks, Wickies. Like you know what I'm saying? Like it ain't really my cup of coffee type shit. Like I don't know why they're not higher. He needs to show he can make more than rugged trap anthems. Rug, rugged. Seventeen, Baby Keem. Rugged, you mean? Oh yeah, rugged. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, boy, I'm trash. I need Duolingo for English. That's crazy. Baby Keem, bro. He hasn't dropped in three years, though. I'm just saying. He's waiting for Kendrick to write him a verse. That's why. <laughs> He's 23 years old. Hey, man, we'll see. We'll see what he drops. Number 16, Young Boy Never Broke Again. He was- I mean, I was never he's a young boy fan, like, but he's not even out. Is he? Is the he numbers free? don't lie. I don't know. A mix of it says why they're not higher. A mix of oversaturation and legal adversity has hurt his musical output. So but while he's on the, the list, list, after all these years, he still has some of the most passionate fans in hip hop. So I guess that's a good point. If you got crazy fans, I mean, they put you up there on a pedestal. You know, people are going to see that. But I don't like his music, bro. Number 15, Sexy Red. I could see that. Sexy. I could see that for sure. She's been wilding. She has undeniable charisma and the ability to get people talking. Mad That's Riz. a great, great way to put it. While they're not higher, <clears throat> so far she has come across as one note, though that note is undeniably fun. I'm telling you, yeah, Sexy Red knows her lane. You feel me? Like, she's funny. She don't give a fuck, clearly. Taking pictures with Plan B pills and shit. That's wild. She really don't give a fuck. <laughs> Number fourteen V's. Yeah, he he's definitely. I would say he's kind of a street rapper type shit, but he's definitely one of the hottest out right now. He's boring. Yeah, you think so? He's boring. I like his flow though. It's pretty hard. That song with Yachty is hard, bro. The shit with the Cole Bennett video. I'm sure his wordplay and whatever dun, is dun. cool. He said, "Everybody know that shit, man. Everybody know you're goofy." It, 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 it. I fuck with that flow. He's like, I'm sure it's. He said, fire. I took a shit that shit with Brown. And you know we call that Dookie. Nah, <laughs> I don't know what wow. he said. I don't know what he said, but he's 29, <sighs> so he's getting up there. But it says he is a technically gifted MC who made a great album recently. And while he's not higher, he is an exact, an excellent rapper, but not has not been able to make a true hit record yet. That's fair enough. Fair enough. Number 13, Dochi. Dolce and Cabana? I personally never heard of this girl. So if you heard her and she whore, let me know a song. But it says she she just dropped a legitimate album of the year contender. You telling me you're going to put her in the list before you put Joey Badass? I mean, how old is Joey Badass? Isn't he like 33, bro? Nah. He's... Oh. <laughs> 
<laughs> Joey Bad has been in the game for like 30 years, bro. No way. <laughs> How old is he? 29. 29? Top well, I haven't seen him. the top 10. Who knows? Maybe he's in there. He's not. Uh, number 12, Ken Carson. You already know. Not much to be said. Not even Denzel Curry, man. Yo. Damn. How old is he? He's got to be like 31, bro. There's no way. He's been in the game for mad long. 29. What the fuck? Yo, everybody 29, boy. That's crazy. But, yeah, Ken Carson, 24 years old. Leader in the mosh pit rap scene. The only reason why he's not higher. After a bumpy beginning, he's only just recently come into his own as an artist. I respect that. Yeah, Ken, there's not much to be said, man. He's getting better and better sonically every fucking year. So, yeah. Number 11, Lil Uzi Vert. 29, almost there. But not much to be said about Uzi, man. That boy a go. He a legend. They remain one of, the, one of hip-hop's most notable rappers known for doing Galaxy Guys. No, <laughs> nah, I just, <laughs> I just put that in there. Nah, but yeah, you already know. I would have said known for creating chop, chart topping hits and doing Galaxy guys. <laughs> Stay away from drugs. It says the reason why they're not higher is because the last time Uzi dropped an album, it was Pink Tape. Damn, that's fucked up, Complex. Come on, man. Pink Tape is not that bad, bro. Y'all, y'all suck beef. Y'all be hating. Number 10 is Chief Sosa. You already know. The GOAT. Bro, most disappointing album of the year. Yeah, Almighty Soul 2 was so weak. Literally, there's the, like one the song. most disappointing album. There's maybe, in a long maybe time. two songs that I really fucked with, but that was it, bro. Man, and. and Almighty! Honestly, that intro was hard. And honestly, but that, that really. It, Put a little stain it's, it's, on it. it. That's it for me. Like, yeah, because I, 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 I don't you, care about Chief Keef no more. I said After that, on, that, I'm over it. I said that on one of my videos that this album, I was, like, I was like talking to Chief Keef at that point. I was like, yo, Sosa, you're getting hot now. You're buzzling a little more. A lot of eyes are on you right now, like casual eyes, like people that haven't really fucked with you in like 10 years, bro. So you would think like this is the project where you go all out. Almighty Soul was 2013. So those these are the, your fans from back then that are anticipating this shit. And then you drop that, it's like, Phone Them was better. And that shit came out three years prior with the army f uh, figurines with Yes Sir on it. All the uh, bitch wear. The best wear. song is Treat Myself, but it takes like an hour An hour, an hour to get, to get to in, song. right? Yeah, nah, that was disappointing, bro. I ain't gonna lie. It says the reason why he's not higher is because he is still mostly a cult legend, but one who hasn't had a hit record in a number of years. Fair That's enough, true. I guess. Yeah. Like chart wise, yeah. Number nine, Lil Baby. I don't know if I'll put Lil Baby over Chief uh, Keith. Uh, uh, I don't even do uh, uh. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even do Pearl like that. <laughs> nah, honestly. Y'all gotta see that interview. Where is that from? <laughs> he like Where this. He does he like, that. Uh, uh. You see when he tried to pour water? He was like, I came out of jail. And, uh, like, that ass, bro, he's just like, <laughs> nah, yeah, that was a classic, bro. He was off hella perks, talking about, I ain't do perk like that. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, every time we talk about a little bit, we mentioned that shit, bro. <laughs> Honestly, though, know, why I would not put Lil Baby over Chief Keef. I'm sorry. I don't care how many more hits Lil Baby had. Lil Baby got a lot I'm of I'm not putting Lil Baby over Chief Keef, bro. And how old is Gunna? Is he on this shit? I don't nah, know, he, man. he is. I think he is. It says the reason why Lil Baby is here is because he's had a resurgence thanks to a number of great guest verses. It's probably because of that. Uh, we could go band for band. We could go perk for perk. You feel me? <laughs> <laughs> we could go perk like that. <laughs> but, yeah, nah, that song is popping with Lil Baby on it. But... The reason why he's not higher is because he's had a rough couple of years. He's only now getting his groove back thanks to the guest verses. Number eight, Lil Yachty. <clears throat> I can see that. Not Word. much to be said. You're right. We we always talk about he just Yachty needs to shut up. and how great he is and how much better he's gotten. We got me and Lourdes were watching like a bunch of Cole Bennett Yachty videos, and she was like, "Damn, like." He's so good. Yachty reminds me of that meme. You know that meme where it's like people dancing at a party and somebody's in the corner like, 
They don't, they don't even they know. They don't even know I went 10 prestige in Modern Warfare 2. These people Type have shit. no idea. Type shit. <laughs> yeah, Type shit. Talking about. He's one of those where, like... They have wants... no idea. I made a whole group <laughs> called Concrete Girls. <laughs> These people have no idea. Yeah, he is one of them types, yeah. Uh, the reason why he's on this list is because he has continually found ways to stay relevant while experimenting with various styles, which is true. But the reason why he's not higher, his last album, Bad Cameo with James Blake, was somewhat disappointing. Which I heard Honestly, that album, that shit was boring as fuck. This is not really, my cup of coffee. I didn't even know it came out. What? No way. He posted it on his gram. Well, That's all you need nowadays. Well, nah, man. It didn't reach me. It didn't reach you. It didn't touch your toes. Number seven is Glorilla. Yeah, Glow. She was the comeback rapper of the year, dropping a number of impactful singles. And the reason why she's not higher is because comeback years typically aren't MVP years. Comeback? She just started. Well, the, she came out, and then she, like, other rappers went over her, like Flo Millie, Sexy Ice Spice, Red. Sexy Red, and then now she's back on the scene again. But that's what sucks about this new 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 age hip-hop. Like, damn, you can't go one year just, you know what I'm saying, laying low. Like, bro, she just dropped a bunch of his. Like, you can't give a rapper at least a one year. Like, damn, that's considered a comeback? Jesus Christ, bro. <laughs> but anyways, she's back. She did, that Megan Thee Stallion song was pretty popping. Get him, Glow. Get him glow. Go me. Go me. I mean, it ain't, for, it ain't for us, but. She got a deeper voice than us. You ever seen when she was with Shannon Sharp? And Shannon was like, say that again? How'd you say it? Murder. Yeah. <laughs> Confer. <laughs> fur. Insure. Yeah, that's too funny, bro. She's like, I I like my mood. And Shannon Sharp's like, what? Mood. <laughs> my mood. He like, say that again? My, my mood. mood. <laughs> <laughs> that's fucked up, bro. Holy shit. Number six is Lotto. She is a versatile rapper who has shown an ability to con consistently make hits. Uh, there is still another level for her to hit before we crown her. That's why she's not higher. But, shit, she's been in the game for a minute, doing her thing. I don't listen to her, but I get it. She got the confidence, you know what I'm saying? She doing her thing. I feel like she lives, She raps a lifestyle that she doesn't really live at all. What do you like think that, is her lifestyle, that, that though? That Punani popping. Like, similar to Saweetie. Like, I don't think Saweetie was Saweetie. really on that. That was all fabricated. I never, like... You know what I'm saying? Like, like when you hear Lotto Sweden. talk, she she didn't sound like a bimbo that is is twerking all over the place. You saw that she posted a picture with Ice Spice wearing like the cheetah print shit, like she's copying her or whatever. A lot of people not fucking with Ice Spice no more, bro. The consensus is going down. Nobody fucking with her no more, huh? Yeah, one of the girls that did. She want to become a toothpick. You remember the reaction video I did three years ago to Ice Spice? I had yes. those three girls. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One of the girls hit me like, "Yo, I told you that she was ass. Look at her now." I'm like, "You waited three years to say that." Wow, she dad hit you up. <laughs> wow, she was plotting, bro. She was waiting for this moment. Number five, we got the. He eat. Number five, man, Derek 24. Eater. He is one of the most unique rappers in the industry, true, boasting a fervent, never heard that word, fan base that adores him. The reason why he's not high is because he has to break out of this dystopian bubble to move up this list. Why he got to do that, for? What's his dystopian bubble? 2093? Is that what they mean? What does that mean exactly? Like to break through the mainstream even more. That almost more. sounds like he's made a lane. He put himself so, in a box. It's almost like he made he made a, lo a lane only for himself. That it's so for himself that it's like against him now. Like it's working against him. Mm. Like it's so. But it is pretty unique, man. I mean. No, that is true. It's hard to argue against that. I'm not saying that. That's I'm no, trying to just interpolate. Saying, no, no, yeah, yeah. You know. They're saying that he put himself in the corner in a box, so alone and isolated that. How dare him? You know what I'm saying? Like, how dare now he he's not be a part of modern hip-hop? Like, like that's Facts. a bad thing. Facts. Yeah, they hating a little bit. Number four, Megan Thee Stallion. 
You put Megan Thee Stallion over Yeet and Ken Carson, eat a dick, bro. And Joey Badass. And Chief Sosa. Denzel Curry. And Chief Sosa? I don't want to hear this shit, bro. And Gunna. Gunna, I ain't even, I ain't even mentioned Gunna yet. She is, a, she is capable of headlining arenas and is consistently topping the charts. Can she sell out an arena? Maybe New York, Houston, Texas. Damn. <clears throat> Not my demographic. Number three, Central C. We could go perk for perk. <laughs> eh, I guess. A UK rapper who's been able to garner significant crossover success in the U.S. And the reason why he's not higher, there isn't a large enough sample size for him to be in the best rappers. But you put him in the top three. You would think with that statement, he's number 18, 19. There isn't a large sample size to put him in the best rappers in their 20s conversation when he's literally number three. You sound dumb. Number two, Doja Cat? Doja's amazing, bro. Yeah, well, it ain't for me, cuz. I ain't with the shits. I'm sure her music is fine. I know she can sell out shows, but it says number two is nothing to sneeze at. She just barely missed being recognized as the best rapper in their 20s. I guess. She did headline Coachella. Because what's his name back though? No Gunna. No Lil Tecca. That's fucking crazy, Maybe man. Gunna's like 31. Yeah, man. Gunna's probably like 40, for all we know. <laughs> no Lil Tecca. Number one is Cartier. Jordan Carter. Playboy. Play? I'm sorry. He has slowly crafted one of the great modern rap catalogs while influencing a new class of up-and-coming rappers. On March 10th, tw- damn, it's got a, I'm not reading all this, but I'll read this one paragraph. He said, on March 10th, 2021, Cardi went to his Instagram to announce that a new album was on the way. Let's drop this album with like uh, uh, capital letters, lower letters, whatever. We not done. Just three months after releasing the mind-melting classic, Whole Lotta Red, the post seems like a cruel joke. It's now 2024 and there's still no new album. But if you're a real Cardi fan, that's not surprising. You know how he likes to make you wait. And a bunch of shit. But yeah, Cardi being there, I could. that's that's kind of a no-brainer. I ain't gonna lie to you. Maybe next episode we should discuss if Cardi is today's Wayne. They said that about a little baby. Yeah, but <laughs> I, I think there's a little more... A little more... Like um, the aura? Staying power like the, with the, Cardi. The superstar status type shit. type shit. But what I can't understand, now that you brought it up, that Lil Tecca is dead ass not on this list, bro. Come on, bro. You telling me Tecca, yeah, he might not be the most popular and the most like talked about rapper every day, but that's because he don't... He don't entertain He's, it, Yeah, bro. he don't be in the he bullshit. The way, yeah. yeah, and he created his own lane, too. He don't sound like no... He doesn't imitate nobody. Suburban. What's his lane? His, <laughs> just like white kids going to school, I guess. <laughs> but nah, bro. Like he's like a good kid, bro. Like he, he ain't he ain't with the bullshit. He don't be in controversy. He makes great music, sells out shows, and goes home. Fucks like, bitches, probably. That's it. Yeah. Like how the fuck? Cheater print. You know what I'm saying? Like Tekka didn't have one of the biggest songs last year. And five hundred pounds. The- you telling me 500 Pounds wasn't like a top 20 song of the year last year, bro? So. How the fuck you don't put Tekka, bro? Like, that shit is crazy to me. They overlooked Tekka crazy. Give us a Come briefly. on. And you know how old he is, bro? 22. 22 fucking years old. And this man already has five albums out. Come on. Give him head, yeah. We love you, Tekka. Virgo World. Uh, We love you, Tekka 2. Tech and now Plan A. My man got five albums, all of them solid. There isn't really a bad project. What's the best song on Plan A? Shit, I didn't listen to it. The best song on Plan A? Yo, shout out to the Tekka fans, man. We've been talking. I've been talking to a Tekka fan page. We locked in, twin. We locked in. Uh, Shit. Probably Cool Girls. I like that song a lot. Or 120. I told Tekka that. I I told him I said he a bitch. I was just kidding, though. I said, yo, Tekka, I ain't gonna lie. 120 is the best song on there. He was like, good looks. That's all he said. (laughs) Because <laughs> I went to his uh, CD signing or whatever He looked like he didn't want to be there bro. I ain't gonna lie to you He was just like He probably lives down the block He's from Long Island so. I don't know where he lives though Nobody does Shit probably LA 
Who knows? Uh, I would say he lives in Long Island. I think the reason why he didn't really want to be there is because they were, they had a club appearance or whatever in the city at like eleven. So he showed up at like seven. He's probably like, damn, we gotta, we still get, we gotta do this and then drive to the city. Like I'm tired, but hey, bro, it's literally album release day, so I'm sure it was probably like hectic, mad shit going. A on. little. Tech is the man, bro. I don't like, know about you, but it seems a little soon. I don't know why I feel that way, but it seems like a little he didn't need to drop it. Yeah. Tech was still doing its thing. Yeah, exactly. I felt the same, the same way. It's a little fast. Yeah, it's actually literally one year after. Wow. Yeah, Tech came out September 2023, so it did feel like it does. You still feel the impact of that project. That's how good it was, and and it's definitely not better than Tech. I'll say that, but. I knew you. I knew he wasn't gonna be able to top that project, but this is still really solid for sure. The transitions, bro. Twenty four hours into number two, that Trash. shit gave me mad head when I heard that shit. I was like, wow. No, shout out, out Tekka, man. Sure. So we did spend a good amount of time on that. Do you feel bad for him? Did he do it, or did he not? He definitely did it, my boy. Did he do it? He or definitely did, he not? did it, bro. I could never look at baby oil the same. I'm sorry. My man, this is like 30 years of like sin, bro. Like that Justin Bieber clip is mad eerie to watch now. Seen that shit, bro? He's like, he had 48 hours of custody and he's 15 years old. That's weird. If he wasn't famous, you wouldn't hang around with a 15 year old white kid and you're almost 40. Like, that's weird, bro. There's a picture floating around with him, Aaliyah, and J-Lo. Like, yeah, boy I think really, I saw he that. probably fucked MGK. Let's talk about it. MGK signed a bad boy. I would not be surprised if he violated MGK. Did his shit. Diddle. He said, hey, playboy, you want to be bad boy? You got to let me get, you got to give up By that way, butt. That picture with J-Lo you got to give up that him, butt. I feel like that picture with all of them in that bed, like, that, that looked a little AI, but. What? You, you think so? Yeah, you never know. It could be true. But then again, I got nothing to say on the topic. If he Amen. did it, throw him underneath the jail. Hey, man. All I know is he's on suicide watch, and I, I just want to know, like, are they going to violate this man in jail right now? Like, or is he just by himself? He's got to be by himself. Right? He's got to be protective custody. Damn, because imagine Diddy in your jail cell. Like, hey, yo, yo, Diddy, what's good, gang? Open that butt, gang. Booty warrior. All right, so this is one of my hot takes. You ready? Yeah. If looks could kill is better than love lasts forever. Is that a hot take? I don't know, because everybody hated that shit. Everybody wanted a shit on if looks could kill. Yeah, it was bloated. But now that I had some time to hear this love lasts forever shit, now you appreciate he, it. he added, like, what he has thirty two songs on it now, come on, bro. I think if yeah. Lisa Kill is is believe it or not like more cohesive than this new shit, <laughs> even though it sounds the same. But I just like the world of if Lisa Kill more. I like the aesthetic. Absolutely. I like the vibes I get off. This new shit is like big money. There's no. What does that mean, really? You I like that the Kill, Kill looks looks killer type. He did the whole trailer to it. Even Just like the Tekka, like I don't, I don't think we were in such dire need of a new Destroy Lonely project. Mm, Was anybody really? fiending at the mouth for this? I mean, I feel like he, I feel like he felt like he had to drop because people felt like if Luke could kill was a letdown. Probably yeah, and Ken Carson's going crazy. Like yo, I gotta drop some. I mean, he still has a lot of fans. As much as people talk shit, he still has fans that want music. Oh yeah, they're you know for what I'm sure So like. Out. It has been at least a year and a half, almost. And he's going on tour. And I don't care for it. I, ain't I don't lie give to you. a fuck. That's crazy, bro. That's mm -hmm. crazy. I'm probably still gonna go some way somehow, but I don't. It's not like in me, like yo, I gotta get tickets now. Like speaking of that, Brooklyn Paramount, October 21st, Four. boy. One of them ones, boy. One of one in Brooklyn. I'm in there, bro. I can't wait. I'm fiending. I fuck with Gunna Heavy, top three project of the year for me, bro. I love this project. I don't give a fuck what you say. That shit about to be lit. Fuck anybody that says Gunna is a bad performer, bad. Nah, this shit going crazy. Shout out Gunna. So do you agree with my take, though? Yeah. Somebody responded. 
You That's not bitch. even a hot take. It's a general truth. If Looks to Kill was production wise ahead of its time, I don't know about all that, but it was, you know, maybe acoustic trap, I would call it. My son Ant and Bucks, Ken is the only one in Opium who has been consistent and delivered with almost every project and will probably be the only one to branch into different territory and cement it into mainstream rap. Well, I mean, Cardi, whether he hasn't dropped officially or not, is has been pretty consistent. I think he's talking about since like, like the I'm winter time. Game, long, yeah, I guess. Can. Um, yeah, that's true. I mean, it depends what you're looking for. Like with loan, if you if you buy into that, it looks like Kill was a trash album. Then I guess that's true. But some people really like it. Like it grew on me. Do you see Ken ever branching out and like doing crossovers or like? Yeah, he's being already on the doing radio. it right. He, he's doing it as we speak. Mm. And the radio shit, like that's that's that neither dead. here nor there. Yeah, yeah that yeah, don't he, matter. He, Fighting my demons is on two K, the newest two K, and they that's block the new out version. everything. It's like what a what a, what a, what a, what a, my it's like yo, I can't even enjoy the song. <laughs> it's like her, her. Well, how his verse goes? He goes. <laughs> well, I'm how, Keisha. Yeah, yeah. But how how the verse starts? He goes. How that shit starts again? Four uh, six. Uh, well, he says, bro. <laughs> he goes. We got four six. We four deep yeah, in a photo. Bro, it goes. My finger in the in your brains on the. <laughs> like yo, he said. I feel like the way with the heat. We go rest, running at his. It's like yo, that's not even curse words. It's like I pop, I pop, I pop. like yo. This is trash, bro. I'm I'm turning it off. I turned off the music. But yeah, I feel you. And my man Jesus, I love Cardi, but he will never be as revolutionary and impactful as Travis Scott. Damn. Revolutionary and impactful as Travis Scott. I think we're going to have to wait for that one because Travis has been in the game since fucking, like, 2011, 2012. This album that Cardi Cardi's drops Cardi's influence will has been that. the past couple years. This album that Cardi drops will determine that. It already He already did, though, with a whole lot of red. You know yeah, what I'm saying? but people are waiting for that album, like, with, with Travis, it was Astroworld, like... That was the album's album. I feel like for Cardi, this is the album's album. Like, Think so? I, yeah. Hmm. Like, this is Cardi's Astro This is about to be his Carter 3. Type shit. Right? Type shit. You saw the picture he posted on his story? It's like him, like a mixtape cover. That was hard. That reminded me of some Lil Wayne shit. Yo, yeah. that original fake cover was so hard. Like, the dedication mixtape cover. That should have been it, bro. With the like, I Am the Music. The album cover? I don't think no? so. No? I thought that shit was hard. Uh, maybe a single cover, but... I liked it, bro. My man said, That Cardi Lucky beef is funny as fuck, considering that Lucky inspired both the two big rappers that Cardi signed. I mean, shit. Cardi and Lucky been tapped in for mad long. I saw a video when Lucky's name wasn't even Lucky. It was like Lucky X. Remember that shit? It was like no, E-C-K. I, did. I didn't start song. knowing about Lucky like that till like two, three years ago. Word? Yeah. Damn. Even I knew about him, but like 2018. But he's been a thing since like 2013. I, know, I heard. Chief Keef was I fucking heard. with him, bro. I mean, that Cardi, that Lucky shit is pretty funny. But he was like, bro, I don't even know why you thought I was talking about you, bro. Like, I literally posted my chain and said, cross is up. And you, you felt some type of way because you don't like Jesus. That ain't my fault. And then, yeah. that, yo, you seen the, the video with him and Lone's ex? She's, like, in the studio with him. Oh, wow. Yeah. It's like, damn, cuh. Think Lone give a fuck? Well, like, I'm sure that hurt seeing that, though. Lone got hoes, They all though. fuck with the same girls, man. I feel like that shit gonna fall on us. They all fuck with the same hoes? So, Bro, speaking of, I don't know how this popped up in my head. Did you see SSG Kobe's performance yesterday, bro? SSG Kobe? Yes. No. First of all, whoever posted that, that's fucked up, bro. You fucked up for that. I don't know if it was the venue or a label. Somebody posted it, but that shit went super viral. It was like, how sad is this? Literally like 10 people, bro. I wouldn't even post that. I know it's actually Kobe. Ooh, let me tag him. 
But, bro, if I'm SSC Kobe, yo, delete that shit right now, bro. This is embarrassing. Because the shit that, what he was three years ago, whatever the fuck. But anyways, it was literally just like, it looked worse than like Smoke Per, bro. <laughs> it was really bad. Like, his main song, too. Like, I even DM'd him. I was like, yo, how you doing, gang? Like, I hope you doing good. <laughs> I swear to God, bro. Ooh, if I was him, I'd find a new, I'd find a new profession. I'm not joking. Like I'd go back to school. Change your name, Teddy Boy. To I'll change. literally go back to school or something, bro. A trade, cause clearly this rap shit ain't for you no more. It's just not happening. Even though the allegations went away, but you took too long. You took like two months to announce it to the public. Why? If you knew it wasn't true, just go on Instagram and be like, "Cow," but you didn't. You said some shit on Discord. A little. That's not true. <laughs> and then you went on Baba Lamb's live stream like three months later. And barely explained it. He was kind of like stuttering and like really quiet. I just wanted some head. <laughs> nah, he didn't say that. My man said, Hot is Travis Scott's best feature. Ooh. Definitely not. Ooh. Nah, I mean, it's up there, but best features, that's like impossible to think about right now. <laughs> it is a good one, though. I'm in the, in the, in the, in the, in the top, babe. La Flair. I remember when I first heard that, I was like, oh, God. Nah, man. <laughs> My man said, two Hollis outperformed Ken on his own tour. Low key. Damn. Low key. I mean, performance wise, she. You know Ken's just going to be chilling. Making it's just that with Ken, I think it's... He doesn't care that it's much. It's a disappointing element that you can't see Ken perform. You can't In Philly, you kind of could have. They didn't put too much smoke, thankfully. I know, but, like, Beto, like, every it's tour New York. style, he's a fucking ghost. I know. Like, he could he could do three shows in one day. And you could... Who we knows if he's even know. him at that point, right? Oh. <laughs> nah, yeah, Two Hollis went crazy, bro. It's because he's, he's up and coming. That's That always happens, usually. Like, you're hungrier, you know? He wants to be I can spot. He's up and coming. He's an up and coming guy. Uh, Kendrick Lamar is a top five rap live performer. Who? What did he say? <laughs> Kendrick Lamar. Oh, right? Kendrick Lamar. I thought he was, he was, you know what I'm saying? Being a little slick cut. Kendrick is definitely a top five rap live performer, bro. Him... J. Cole, like actual rap performance, Travis, those three when it comes to rappers, it's definitely top five. I don't think that's a hot take. Who else would you say is in the top five performers? Like who's gonna give you a spectacle? Jaleel, yeah. Jaleel, yeah. Nah, facts. Jaleel up there. But he don't perform no more. But definitely not Dom Corleo. The party never ends will be a flop. Damn, don't say that. RP Juice, man. I hope not. Shit, this better be the last thing we get from Juice World, bro. That's nice. it. I hope it's not, but we'll see. Uh, Nas is better than Jay-Z. That's not really, like, a hot take because they're both, like, phenomenal fucking rappers. So, like, that's like saying Jordan 1s is better than Jordan 3s. Like, Nas is not better than Jay-Z. In what way? In any way. Like what way? In what Lyrical way? ability, storytelling, beat selection. He may selection. not be a better freestyler than Jay-Z, Bro. but he a better storyteller than Jay-Z. Bro, come on. All right, fine. Nas is a poet. Okay, like, fine. He's a fucking, like, real rapper's Jay -Z rapper. Jay-Z is Jay -Z better Jay-Z is golden Nas. when it comes to getting in the booth. Overall, Jay-Z, just say it. <laughs> Just say it, dog. Like, Jay-Z's better than Nas. He's a better ability at making He's a hit. He's a better artist. Artist, yes. Yeah, but he it. ain't a better rapper. I I will oh. stand on that. I will stand on that. Fuck is you talking about? Nas is the GOAT. He's the greatest rapper of all time. Nobody oh, got paid. He's the greatest storyteller of all time. Rapping is a lot more than just storytelling. Nah, it's, but it's Nas got... conveying an audience and... And blah, blah, I blah, feel blah, you, blah. I feel you, you know what I'm saying? Being ah uh ah, -uh, hyping up the crowd and being a fucking mogul and being all this and that. You know what I'm wow, saying? Wow, Hennessy with Nas. 
Wow. <laughs> You're a fucking hater, bro. The only reason why I don't why I would put Jay Z over Nas a little bit is because he a Yankee fan. That's the only reason. <laughs> and he from Brooklyn. Anyways, love both artists. But Homicide Gang's last album was better than Love Last Forever. Damn. I actually did like that Homicide Project, believe it or not. I fuck with it. Side Effect with Yachty is whore. And Tana produced a song on that album, too. I forgot the name of it. But, yeah. I mean, Love Last Forever is just too many songs, bro. Sorry. I think Keem has reached his peak and won't grow much more artistically. We won't know until he drops music. Literally. And he's waiting for Kendrick to do the Super Bowl so he can ram some bars. Cardi is a better auto crooner than Don Tolliver. Auto crooner? Yeah. I like I guess know. the way they tweak the auto tune. Oh, auto tuner. No, auto crooner. He's like, <laughs> I don't fucking know what you're talking about. The way they bend their voice, like yeah, vocal inflection. Yo, that's bad funny. We got two more. My man said, most new up-and-coming rappers slash artists begin to sound the same over and over. Maybe it's because I was used to early days of the underground back in the day or that there's so many new artists coming out, it gets kind of hard to keep up with. I'm over it. Over what? This hip-hop talk. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's fucking <laughs> The hippity hop, the hippity hop hop. We got one last one. Sorry, my man. Uh, don't get why people thought Sabrina Carpenter's album outselling Travis's was so weird. She released an original album, and he released something that came out a decade ago. It don't even matter now because he outsold her, but I just thought that was weird. She's white. <laughs> She's white. Is her music even good? Like, what is it? Never heard of her. Is it like Barbie music? My Little Pony shit? My, my little, little pony. pony. That shit hard. My Put some eight away on that thing. <laughs> Come on, bro. I'm just, I'm just, my little pony. My little pony. <laughs> fucking eat bitch. <laughs> I got a little pony in me. I'm fucking eat bitch. Travis Scott sold 150 units just all vinyls. But think about nah, it. I if, still ain't get my if shit. Average vinyl sale. If average sale that day, because I think it was only packages. Let's say it's $100 per customer. Do 100 times <coughs> 150K. That's a lot of bread. <coughs> That's a lot of money. Let's do it right now. Yeah, but you got to take into account All right, we're talking making gross, the product. I'm gross saying. Gross income, yeah. $15 million? Shit, yeah. You could probably take out like five mil. Still a lot of money. Half of it is taxes. <laughs> Word. It's still so a lot of money. Give me like six mil. It's still a lot of making money. Making the product, half of that. So like three and a half. Whatever. You still made, made millions. Millions. You still made millions. And that's not even streams. Shout that's out Travis Cack. Yo, Travis, sponsor us, man. Cacti. We'll put it right here. Cack. <laughs> Cacti. Cack. <laughs> Instead of doing this, these whiteies. <coughs> they were selling it at Barclays. I should have gone. At the Lincoln Park show. It's like, Cacti. Cacti. Shout out to Lincoln Park. Shout man. out 10, episode 103, sponsored by Cacti. <laughs> Oh, you know.